Mineral Creek Cabin. Uh, this one starts out at Packer's Roost. It's a class four trail and you know, to kind of get to the punchline here, um, I didn't get to the cabin this time. So this is failed attempt number one. Hopefully there's no more failed attempts, but um, yeah, you start at Packer's Roost and you work your way up over to Mineral Creek and then you work your way up the creek bottom to get to the cabin. And today I'm starting out in the uh, nice low forest. Saw a uh, really friendly doe. She wasn't scary friendly, but she was just kind of curious. And then, then as you go into the burned area, um, saw a bear, which was pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I just walked. And then, you know, the thing about it is you just, these class four trails, when they don't keep them up, they just uh, disappear. And I, I had heard a rumor that the thing got burnt because of, um, because of a fire or because of the big fire that went through here. But regardless, um, I didn't find it today. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another whirl. But in the meantime, saw a rabbit. So it wasn't a bad day. It just was a failed attempt. So anyways, to be continued. Today was Mineral Creek Cabin and um, Dave here came along with me and I am very glad that he did because it was definitely an adventure. Um, this is my second time trying Mineral Creek Cabin. It's really kind of a ghost of trails past. I don't think that, um, I mean you won't find it on a trail map on a current one and I don't think you'll find it on a future one either. It's uh, definitely gone the way of the dinosaur. So um, anyways, if you like if you're looking for just trail hiking, then don't even try this one. If you're looking for quite the adventure and you just like to route find and all that other kind of stuff, it's kind of fun. Um, definitely very pretty. But um, starts out, like I said, over at Packer's Roost and you know in the trees, then kind of goes out to a burn area. And then after that, you just start um, working your way up and right before you get to the creek crossing, um, there's a little faint trail that spurs off to the right. And um, it really doesn't look like anything special, but uh, that'll take you up there. And um, you follow that as th over and under some downfall, and then it goes to the creek. And um, the first time I went, I didn't go through the creek. I started to go up the mountain and all that kind of stuff, and that was just a mess. But essentially, um, from this point, you cross the creek and then walk up along um, the bench and then Man, it's just crazy. You're just uh, going, trying to exist <laughs> as much as you can. Like finally you will um, cross the creek and then you'll walk up and up the uh, dry creek bed if you do it later on in the year, which I recommend. And, uh, and then you'll hop up onto a shelf and then you're gonna look for some stuff. And you know, it's just, it really is a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and type out the instructions as best as I can um, to help you out and, um, and see this. But man, as you start to go up the valley, it's you know, if you like the real adventure kind of stuff, it's real pretty. I mean, you know, big um, open valley and it's got some really cool cliffs and shelves. And um, there's, a, there's a really cool gorge that there used to be a bridge over. And man, that thing is just, it's just cool looking. And um, really like that. And then um, where Kip Creek comes down, there's a really sweet waterfall. And I don't know, it's just a real cool area. And uh, we're pretty sure we found the Mineral Creek cabin site. It's a nice flat benchy area. There's this rusty pipe and some just evidence that there was something around there, but other than that, there's not a whole lot. So anyways, I'm glad to go ahead and check this one off my list. I wouldn't say it's really, I think it's, it's officially on the park list still just because they remember it, but I don't think it's officially on there because they should, uh, they should keep it on there. But anyways, um, if you decide to do it and you want a little bit more information, feel free to drop me a line. Um, otherwise, that's Mineral Creek Cabin.